Welcome back. I'm Jeff Jones, and Keith Moreland is the very definition of a Longhorn legend, an All-American multiple times, a national champion, a baseball player so good that his name will forever live in the stadium, the same stadium where he now does color commentary. But last spring, this larger-than-life Longhorn almost lost his life. Now he's ready to tell us why May 11th, 2022 is a day the Moreland family will never forget. This is just some of it. This is some of the things that, that, that I have out. Most the walls of Keith Moreland's West Austin home hold more than memorabilia. They hold memories. These are the memories of baseball, world championship and national championship rings and of life. Teammates, friendship and winning. There's nothing like winning. Three times All-American World Series champion and now a, a great career in the broadcast booth. Can you sum up in words what baseball has meant to you? Oh, it's been life. For the Longhorn legend, a sport gave him life. My favorite player growing up was Mickey Mantle. And a sport almost took life away. I was playing in a golf tournament with my son. Uh, it was a practice round day. Uh, I've always been very healthy, an uh, ex-professional athlete. Didn't notice anything that morning. Um, had a good practice round with some good buddies. And, um, you know, obviously later that evening didn't, um, didn't go well. Uh, I blacked out, walking to the car, uh, collapsed, was unconscious, uh, taken to the hospital. With him being my dad, um, it was just the uncertainty that was, that was a little bit frightening. This could have been fatal. Uh, the combination of a valvular issue and uh, an abnormal rhythm of the heart all of a sudden. Dr. Smith and my cardiologist and Dr. Yang, the surgeon, how do you say thank you to people who saved your life? Uh, so it was a combination, it actually. It was almost three operations in one. At that, at that point, you're just, okay, I'm alive. That's the first thing that comes, strikes, goes through your mind. I mean, I'm, uh, so then you, you start the process of, well, can I do this? And, and just the, to get up, to move, to go to the bathroom, to walk down the hall are all major events for a while. What was the moment where the frustrations, the anger, the pain, the hurt maxed out? Uh, probably when you see, uh, when you can't do your job. He's just learning more and more about the game. You're, you're hired by an, an, somebody, an employer, to, to be someplace and you can't, you know, you can't be there. That, that, that's very frustrating. I mean, I'm sure it's that way in any kind of job, but uh, when you have something that's culminating like a college baseball season, uh, just bad timing. <laughs> Breaking ball, got it up, got it out of here. And I'm fortunate that uh, a long surgery and a, a rebuilt uh, bovine valve and my aortic valve has allowed me to, to be back to work and doing most of the things that I've done before. And I feel like and I'm going to get to everything that I was doing before, but it's just going to take a little time. Time. Time to live life. Those right there are autographs from the guys that I were idols with. And time to share the memories on the wall. That's my son and I out at a fantasy camp a few years ago. With those who mean the most. Wow. What a story. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Yang told me that aortic stenosis, what, what Keith had, millions of Americans have that and a high percentage of them don't know they have it. They're walking around with it right now. So regular checkups can help get in front of that and, and prevent a situation like Keith was in. Wow. He's always been one of my favorite all time mm -hmm. lifetime Longhorns. And when that happened, I can still remember uh, how difficult that was. I'm so glad to see he's doing better. Definitely. Thanks, Jeff. And we'll be right back with a final look at the forecast.